Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have an article straight from Verizon's news center. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So Verizon is really in a unique position because from all of the mobile network operators, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, the only thing to really judge them on is their product, which is their network. Now, of course, you can judge them on everything else, pricing, perks, features, whatever, right? But Verizon has one unique thing about them, in, and, and it's their network. They're really, they have a really good network. They're, they really compete there. They strive to be the best, and they take pride in that. So there's a lot going into the network, right? So in this case, Verizon to show that 5G means business as at Mobile World Congress, you know, talking about private networking and just 5G in general. And Verizon is, is slowly starting to, to build that up, right? They, they're really building the layer cake. They're, they're converting the low band radios to NR. They're putting up the C band, but they're also deploying the millimeter wave. And they, and, and they took that deployment serious, right? A lot of people keep putting out the statement, all oh, Verizon, oh, that's all they had to deploy early on. No, they're still deploying millimeter wave. They haven't stopped, even though they got all the C band. And then that cleared, even the rest of the, the blocks cleared, and they're still deploying millimeter wave. They're not slowing that down. So that that was always in the plans when they went and bought the millimeter wave spectrum they started deploying it early on yes that's all they had really for deployment for 5g but still they're deploying it in 2023 and they will continue deploying it in 2024 and in 2025 they will continue they're not slowing that down it, it it's it's a it's a part of their strategy that they will continue to deploy so that puts them in a very unique position it really they really have the network capacity to grow as as much as as they as they want to really on a quarterly basis they're really holding themselves back i think there are a couple of tweaks that they need to make on the consumer side and on the marketing side. And once they make those changes, I think they can grow. I think they need to take a a play out of T-Mobile's playbook. I think Verizon needs to go on the offensive on the marketing side, right? They need to defend their position. They need to show, "Hey, look, we we still we still work here where our competitors don't." Right? They need to show that but they haven't really done that. But regardless, like I said, they have a very unique position because they have such a great network that's rated and tested by a third party uh, scientifically as still having a very large lead in, in the space. Now, you may take that as you, as you will, but that's the unique position that Verizon is in, so they can shift at any time. They, there, there can be a, a change in leadership. The board could have enough. And all of a sudden, we get a Verizon that's more on the offensive. They can do it now, but they're, they're, they're too subtle. They're, they're, they're still too quiet, in my opinion. Marketing, uh, marketing is really pushing something that they shouldn't be, in my opinion. You know, I saw the recent commercial that they're really pushing that $25 entry fee as, as being a low-value player on the postpaid side. They don't really need that. What do they need it for? They have all these other brands that compete in that same space. They're just swapping customers back and forth on the value segment. Right? If I was Verizon on the postpaid side, I would be I would be marketing it differently. I would be marketing, hey, the perks, this is what you can save. This is this is our our, our uh, price point here. You know, something else. You know, the $25 price point there's too many other MVNOs and, and cable players and prepay players that offer that same price point. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. So they have some work to do on that front, but uniquely positioned from a network perspective. 
So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.